Are you laying slabs or bricks? Or maybe even creating a concrete pad? If the answer is yes, then you are definitely gonna need one of these. This is a petrol concrete mixer, and you can hire one of these from Speedy, the UK's number one hire company. A couple of good things to remember when hiring from Speedy, all our hire equipment is checked, tested, cleaned, and serviced before every hire, and will all come ready to go. You'll also notice a folder attached to your hire product. These are the safety and operating instructions. Please make sure you read these before you begin your job. When you hire your concrete mixer from Speedy, it'll arrive like this, attached to two wheels, which is great for moving your mixer into position or mixing and tipping concrete directly into a particular area. However, if you want to tip cement into a wheelbarrow, you're gonna need to use the stand. The stand will come in three parts and is really easy to put together. You simply align these two sections and then drop the pin through the middle and then insert the safety pin. This concrete mixer is really heavy, so if you need to lift it onto the stand, make sure you get someone to help. It's also really important that you wear the correct PPE when operating this piece of equipment. Eye protection, safety boots, gloves and a dust mask are essential. Any PPE you do require can be purchased from Speedy. A few tips for using the concrete mixer. When the mixer is on its stand, you can rotate it 360 degrees or tilt it to empty the contents into a wheelbarrow. It's really important that when you tilt it, you pull this lever underneath it. This will lock the stand in position and prevent the cement mixer from falling back whilst it's being emptied. Before you load anything into the concrete mixer, you should always have it running. Never fill the concrete mixer whilst it's off. Starting this concrete mixer could not be easier. To begin with, you need to turn the red switch to the on position. Then at the side, you will find a lever. This is the choke. Slide this to the left to activate the choke. This allows less air to get into the engine, helping to start it from cold. Now to start it, we simply need to pull the cord, but don't worry if it doesn't start straight away, as it might take a couple of pulls. Once the engine has started, allow it to idle for a few seconds and then slide the choke lever to the right. Once you've finished with the concrete mixer, it's really important that you clean it out to prevent anything from drying hard to the barrel, as this can damage the concrete mixer. To clean the barrel out, just spray some clean water in there and leave it to rotate for a minute or two. Once emptied, you might want to repeat the process a couple more times to ensure nothing is left behind. Be really careful, as after use, the concrete mixer will be really hot. If you need to refuel, you will need to wait until the engine is cooled down. Then, lift the flap, unscrew the petrol cap on top of the machine, and fill with unleaded petrol. If you have any issues with any of the products you hire from Speedy, just give your local service centre a call as we are always available to help and remember to always check the safety and operating guidance before you use any hire product.